I'm in search of Bell's Expedition Stout. Uh, these guys don't have it. I mean, potentially they could have it. They're not open right now. It's 7 o'clock, so, may, you know, maybe I started too early. I don't know. Uh, this is my day coming up on Rob's Beer Talk. Hey, welcome to Rob's Beer Talk. I'm Rob, thanks for stopping by. Today's episode is all about being ISO in search of Bell's Expedition Stout Barrel Aged. These, uh, these guys here have a drive-through, which is cool. I don't know whether they have Expedition Stout or not because they're not open. Well, another place not open. Why didn't you call ahead, you may be asking, and that's a good question. I don't know why. <laughs> So at this point, everybody pretty much is in one of two groups, and that's the aware group, those who are aware of Bell's Expedition Stout and how good it is, and the unaware group, those who don't know anything about it and don't really understand why I would get up at 6.30 and go out and try to find it. Well, in the end, it doesn't matter which camp you're in. I spent the afternoon and went to about five or six different places. I got lucky, and I was able to find some of this barrel-aged expedition stout. Look at that. It's an official Bell's logoed tulip glass. I called one place and asked if they had any of the barrel aged, and the guy says, sure, I'll be glad to hold one for you. I said, that's awesome. I'll be there in five minutes. When I show up, he hands me a six pack of expedition stout. I explained to him that I wanted the barrel aged expedition stout, and he told me, oh, that's tough to find. This isn't doing anybody any good in a bottle. Let's pop the top and see what it is. And we'll get it into the glass. Nice little bit of steam. Boy. So this one is 13% ABV. It is outstanding, highly rated in Beer Advocate. I think it gets a 4.49. There's a, It has like a cocoa, a real nice cocoa nose to it. And I'm not picking up very much of the bourbon barrel at this point. It's there, but it's not overpowering. Ah, I've been waiting for this. I want to get a taste. Oh, man. That's like a lunch. That's what's so great about the Bell's products is super balanced. That is really sweet but not in a way that you would say, this is too sweet for me, I can't drink it. The booziness, the barrel age part is in there, but it kind of comes at you in a, uh, in a third wave just as you're finishing it. I gotta try this one more time. Uh, in the glass, it's a beautiful mahogany color. It has a, a brownish kind of rust head on it. I poured it a little bit ago and, and probably had a finger, maybe a half finger of head, so not a lot of head built up on there. Great appearance. Look at that dark, dark, dark mahogany. So my daughter says to me, uh, mm. oh, that's great. So my daughter says to me, Dad, why don't you do the plugs anymore at the end of the videos? I said, Hannah, I do. I just don't. Um, I just don't announce that they are the plugs. But for you, Hannah, are you ready? Here we go. The plugs. We're on social media at Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. Also on the web at robsbeertalk.com. If this is your first time here, consider subscribing. If it's your um, 20th time here, consider subscribing. Just hit the subscribe button and the bell icon will notify you every Wednesday when we have a new video. 